Mr Speaker, last night the member for Bundamba raised serious claims about the government, the Premier and myself. Like the Premier, I take deep offence at these claims. I can advise the House that in my time as local government minister and indeed since, I can recall no occasion when the member for Bundamba discussed alleged corrupt conduct by the former Mayor of Ipswich with me. I can also advise the House that I can find no evidence of her corresponding with me regarding this matter. I have today um, also one asked... Moment. One moment, Dear Premier, I apologise. Member for Southern Downs, if you have noises to make, please make them outside. <laughs> and that applies to all members. It's not intended as a joke. I can hear your, your rumblings from here, and I find they're designed to try to disrupt the Deputy Premier in her contribution. I call the Deputy Premier. You have the call. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I can also advise the House that I can find no evidence of her corresponding with me regarding this matter. I have today also asked the Director-General of the Department of Local Government, Infrastructure and Planning to review all correspondence received from the member for Bundamba by the Department. Following that search, the Director-General has advised me that no correspondence exists from the member for Bundamba to me or my department raising alleged corrupt conduct by the former Mayor of Ipswich. I table a letter from the Director-General confirming this. Mr Speaker? Sorry, what was that? Who was...? Member Lockyer? Yeah, I, I said I've been reading the conversation with Resume, you see. Well, Mr Speaker... I call the Deputy as, Premier. Mr Speaker, as the Premier said, if any member in this House has any allegations to make, any evidence of corrupt conduct, it must be referred to the Triple C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr Speaker, my record in responding to allegations of corrupt conduct is clear. When matters are raised, I refer such claims to the appropriate investigative authorities, including the Crime and Corruption Commission. Mr Speaker, the member for Bundamba is a very experienced member of this House. She is a former police minister and a former member of the Parliamentary Crime and Corruption Committee. She is well aware of the proper process for raising alleged instances of corruption in this state. As always, Mr Speaker, Anybody that has evidence of corrupt conduct should take that evidence to the police or the Crime and Corruption Commission for investigation. Thank you. I call the Treasurer and Minister for Trade and Investment. 